hello everyone welcome to the video and in this video we are going to see how we can extract any api data in power bi using various transformations so what are we waiting for let's get started but before we move forward in the video let me tell you that we have an amazing workshop on power bi and data analytics the link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video do you want to convert boring looking data in excel just like this to stunning looking dashboards in power bi just like this if you want to learn all of this then join me in my 9 rupees power bi domination workshop now coming back to the topic as i said we can get the data from any api using power bi so let me open a website where we have some data uh, that we can get using api so this is my browser and i have already opened the website so the website is called as data usa io and then the page is like dot api page right so here you can see uh, this is the api page okay and if i go to data sources uh, they have a description of various uh, data sources across USA that we can fetch. Uh, but we are interested in API. But again, you can explore all this and get uh, the API for that as well. But here if you see, uh, so they have given a very uh, small and, you know, uh, very good example to learn. So that uh, it is saying that to get the population data for the national label, uh, you can use this uh, following API, right? So here they have given that the drill down equal to nation and the measure equal to population so that it will give us uh, this particular data in JSON format, right? And then here also they have other options like if they want to get for latest year. So you can provide latest year and uh, measure as like you want population data so population and for the nation then you can get the latest nation data that is latest us population for the latest year right to get that data you can use this api similarly if you want to get for the state level you can use these kind of stuff right so as you can see using the api we can dynamically change just some part of the thing like basically some part of the url and we can dynamically get the data for analysis okay now how to access this particular data in power bi let's see that so for example uh, let's copy this one okay and let's paste it in a web browser and let's see what we get right so if i paste it here and uh, we will see okay you see we are getting a data which is basically a json data and then we have all these things okay so if i again copy that link basically the same link only if i copy it uh we have to come to power bi then we need to click on the transform data and let's see uh how we can get that api data in power bi right so if i click on new source i'll click on web now here what i'll do is i'll go to advanced like in basic also i can do it's not a problem okay uh but for apis it is better to go for the advanced option why i will tell you see here we can do the parts okay so for example this this particular thing right this is going to be constant right the drill down and measure can be different right so what i will do is I'll put a part like this drill down then I will add more parts to it then I will add a major part to it right now if you see it is creating like this right so and this one I can remove it from here right so you see it is just concatenating everything which is pretty good right so you see this and also i require here um, this one so you see this is concatenating everything to create but now we have a clear picture that this is our base url this is our drill down level and this is our major level okay so okay now uh, this part we don't need so i can delete this okay 
now here uh, i don't have to click on any other thing i think we are good okay i just need to click on okay now you will see we will be getting the data okay you can also directly provide the url but the thing is apis those things are going to be changed right so i will show you in a minute uh, how we are going to access that so now you see it is giving us the data and then we can expand all of this and we can also see this if you just click here you can see okay it has different record level data if i click here also it has record level data so let me expand it what we have here so expand to new rows now if i click on the re uh, record then i have the okay this is the population and the years and also i think this is the data that we actually need so if i expand it so i have all these columns then i'll click on okay so now you see we are getting all this yearly data for uh, each year and the population of united states now let's see what we have here okay so it seems that we have some record here as well and if i click on this okay this has some metric kind of thing so i don't think we need it so we can remove this one so you see we got this data right now let's say i want to change it right let's say i want to change it so for example if i go to this particular one right before we move on into the topic let me inform you that data analysis and business intelligence has become a crucial part of any industry today and i guess you won't like to lag behind others right well if you want to become irreplaceable in your data analytics career join our three hours power bi and data analysis mastery workshop in which we will not only teach you how to perform top-notch data analysis but will also make you build stunning dashboards so that you can become one of those top one percent of power bi users who snatch some high paying jobs so what are you waiting for join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below now let's get back to our topic so they also have a year equal to latest right so let me copy this one year equal to latest and now if i go right if i go to source click on source and here if i click on this gear icon right so now what i can do is i can just simply add a part and provide it like this right and here i can provide the ampersand uh, and this one i can delete so here is latest right and then i can click on okay uh, now if you see what we will do is we'll only get the latest year data you see when we expanded because all these steps followed and we just get 2021 because we filtered it for year equal to 2021 now what are other options available you see drill downs could be state as well right so what i do is if i go here and again click on this gear icon right here instead of nation let me write it state right and then if i click on okay okay now here if i go to expanded data there are so many records now because now we are seeing the data at state level now if i uh, see here uh, id nation and all these things are coming null because uh, there is no such nation at such right so what we can do is uh, let me see if we have anything here mm. we are getting again more list and annotations and source name and all this i don't think we need it maybe here we are missing something so this is the data and we are expanding this one and then we are having alabama and all okay cool and we should be expanding this one yes these steps we don't need it so we can delete up to the end now we have for the latest year so if i just select this year we only have 2021 let's say we don't want latest year we want all the years so what i will do so we will come here and then what i'll do is year i will remove right i'll just delete it and we are all set this ampersand also i will delete and i'll click on okay now if i go to this expanded data right or this one expanded data 2 now if i click on year 
I have all the years now. So you see how easy it is to dynamically change the things using APIs. Now you can you all you have to do is just rename and you know the data labels you need to rectify and then you can visualize it right so you can uh, you can remove it then i can select all of it i can go to transform data then detect data type so that it will automatically detect the data type i don't want this id here i can remove it and id states also maybe i don't need it okay so i have the state name again slag uh, slug state i don't need so i can remove it i have the population and also here i can uh, rename it as uh, us populations right and uh, now let's uh, close and load this data okay let's visualize let's visualize something about this data to see what we have right now uh, the table will load okay now let's see something so this would be the total population right when i drag the just the population so this will give me the total population of us maybe you can show it in a card visual so this is the three billion now remember this is across all the years okay so if i just create a line chart right and select the year and then the population so i can see how the population has grew over the time right so this is how the population grew over time now if i want to have the state level view right so i can put state here and it will automatically create a map chart i guess yeah and now it is showing me all the states so if i provide the population as bubble size so i can see okay uh, these are some of the most populated cities right and this seems california seems to be the you know one of the most populated city that's 349 million of population right and some of the other populated area would be like this one right and this one as well so yeah so you can visualize the data so and this is all dynamic you see we are getting everything from the apis so yeah if you want to explore this api data or you want to practice more or uh, there is a website uh, called as Al api something called as api so i have the url of it so this is api fanny.io so here you will get a lot of apis uh, that actually you can uh, go and research for okay so yeah so there are so many apis for practicing you can get here uh, so try to learn from uh, this particular website so learn if i click on learn then you can get some free apis right you see there are a ton of apis that you can try out so yeah uh, i hope you learned a lot and uh, i will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you